There are new signs of tension between President Biden and Israel's Benjamin Netanyahu over the war in Gaza. The Israeli prime minister is pushing back against the president's comments last week when Biden said Netanyahu is hurting Israel more than he's helping. Chris Lipsey has the report. Amid the mounting humanitarian crisis in Gaza, Israel plans to invade Rafah, a Hamas stronghold, but also a refuge to more than one million Palestinians. President Biden was asked if that would be a red line. It is a red line, but I'm never going to leave Israel. The defense of Israel is still critical, so there's no red line. I'm going to cut off all weapons, but there's red lines that if he crosses and they can, he cannot have 30,000 more Palestinians dead. In response, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed his military will go to Rafah regardless. I have a red line. You know what the red line is? That October 7th doesn't happen again. Never happens again. This week marks the start of Ramadan, the Islamic holy month, a time of prayer and fasting, but in recent years, violence as well over Israeli restrictions on accessing Muslim holy sites in Jerusalem. Samar Sinijlawi is an activist with the Palestinian political party Fatah. I wish the Americans would be able to put more pressure in the coming few days. It's a ticking bomb situation. It's a ticking time bomb. Nobody can tell you what could happen. Something will happen. Now, President Biden continues to push for a ceasefire deal in exchange for dozens of Israeli hostages still in Hamas captivity for five months. But despite that punishing Israeli ground offensive and now the beginning of Ramadan, Hamas refuses to make a deal. Gail. All right, Chris Livesay reporting from Israel. We thank you.